My beautiful and amazing viewers, hope you all are doing well. Can you please take a second to watch the beautiful blazer you are seeing on your screen? This is not just a common blazer, this is a unique blazer, a two-sided blazer. When I say two-sided blazer, I simply mean you can wear it on both sides. With the same dress, you can wear it today and look African and tomorrow you are still wearing that same dress and looking American. Oh my goodness, what kind of a jacket is this? That can give you two different looks at the same time. I only want to dish out the best meal for my viewers. I've gone through thick and thin to simplify this video to the point that even if somebody has never sewn in his or her life before, after watching this video, can simply pick a fabric cut through so and achieve exactly or even better than what you are seeing on your screen right now i was going through my youtube studio this week and i realized that youtube has sent me a message telling me some other channels my viewers watch and among them was tall by Remy, demi dimension kim dave and the rest youtube still went further to tell me the type of videos they watch from these channels and among them was how to cut and sew a blazer and i was like wow this is amazing because i've not uploaded any video on how to draft or sew a blazer on my channel i asked myself what else can you bring on the table that is different from what every other person is bringing on youtube can you simplify things for your viewers can you come out with new tips and tricks on youtube that will help your viewers to be able to draft cut and sew a blazer with ease i decided to go and check out what style by remy dami dimension other youtubers have said or have taught on making a blazer or a jacket. What I found out was really beautiful, but I said, let me come out with something really, really different, really unique, really beautiful, that can help enhance and level up my viewers. And I decided to come out with a blazer that is two-sided. And upon my research, I've not found anybody teaching on this. You guys, to be very sincere with you, Star by Remy, Kim Dave, Tami Dimension, they are very good. Try to subscribe to these three channels. These three people were part of the people who really inspired me to start my YouTube channel. And I know nature will surely arrange for us to meet one day. Hey, Star by Remy, Kim Day, Demi Dimension, and the rest I can mention. I send you love wherever you are. Always remember, I love you, I love you, and I wish the best for you. For my subscribers and my viewers, I bring you love, I bring you peace, I bring you blessings, I bring you happiness, I bring you good luck wherever you are watching me from. I want you to take a chill pill, stick stay, and keep watching to the end of this content marking our shoulder line from that shoulder line i shall be marking my bust point which is 11 inches waist point 16 inches and the full length of this jacket for the full length of the jacket if you want it at your hip level then you can use your hip point but if you want it a little bit above your hip then from your waistline you could just step down by five inches six inches or seven inches if you also want it below your hip then you could just increase that to any length you desire at the shoulder line, I shall be marking 3 inches as my neck width and 1.5 inches as my neck depth. I will divide my shoulder length by 2 and mark it at the shoulder line. That was 7.5 inches. From that 7.5 inches point, I will step down by 1 inch to get my shoulder slope. After getting that point, I will just connect the point to the neckline. My shoulder slope is set. What I have at my shoulder line is the same thing I will be marking from that shoulder slope. It was 7.5 inches but I'm going to be adding half an inch to make it 8 inches since I didn't want my armhole to be so tight. I will connect a straight line through that point. This is now my chest line. We have the first line to be the chest line, the bust line, the waist line and the hip line. Let's join our armhole line this way. I will divide my bust circumference by 4. Mark that at the chest line plus half an inch for ease. I'm not going to be adding any allowances. At the midpoint of the armhole, I'll make a point there. From that point, I'll make a curve to join with that previous point at my chest line. And that is our armhole curve. I'll also be marking my nipple to nipple divided by 4. That was 3.5 inches. I marked it at the chest line and at the hip line. And I'm making a straight line through those points. On my waistline, I shall be marking half an inch on each of the two sides and I'll connect it this way, that way, this other way, and that other way. That is how I that. Next is to divide our waist circumference by 4. Mark it at our waistline plus that half an inch for the ease. And that's one inch that. I'll move to my hip line. My hip line divided by 4. 
I'll mark that but for my hip line because I want to have a little bit of loose and wideness at my hip area I'm not going to be making it half an inch I shall make it one inch at my hip line and I'll just go ahead and connect all those points at the center back at my waistline I'll be coming in by half an inch this way I'll connect it to the neckline and to the hem of the dress this way. This is to get rid of any bulgeness at the back and also give flair and shape to the back area. At the side back this way, I'll be stepping up by 2 inches and with my armhole curve, I'll just be making a curve to join with the dart. I want to make the back two pieces. At the shoulder line this way, I'll be marking the midpoint and I'll connect it to the dart this way. You can decide to leave it that way or you could just do what I'm doing if you want to have a two pieces back. But our back is ready. Let's go ahead and cut everything out and let's move to drafting the most interesting part everyone is waiting for. If you are not a subscriber, you can do that now. Also take this opportunity to like the video. I put in all my best to simplify the front part of these tutorials and I know you're going to be enjoying it. From the top of our pattern paper, I shall be marking 6 inches downwards this way and I'll make a straight line through. And on this other side, I shall also be marking 5 inches inward and I'll make another straight line that way. From the top line, which is also our shoulder line, I shall be marking my bust point, waist point and my dress length. Let's square everything out. At the shoulder line, I shall mark my 3 inches neck width and also 3 inches neck depth. Now make a curve that way. Next is to divide our shoulder line by 2. My after the division was 7.5 inches. I marked that and from that point I came down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. I shall be making a straight line from the neckline to that point. I shall be transferring what I had at my shoulder line from that shoulder slope downwards. That was 7.5 inches but I'm going to be adding half an inch to make it 8 inches since I didn't want my armhole to be so tight. From that point I'm going to be making an horizontal line. This line is my chest line. I shall be joining those two points to get my armhole line. The chest line I'm going to be dividing my bar circumference by 4. That was 9 inches. I marked that plus half an inch for ease. Since this is a blazer, you don't want it to be so tight on you. So it's good you add that half an inch for ease. I'm also going to be adding any allowances. We shall be doing so when we are doing the cutting on the fabric piece. At this stage, let's find the midpoint of the armhole coming by half an inch. And with the help of our armhole curve, we shall be connecting those three points to get our armhole curve. Let's also go ahead and mark our bust point or our nipple to nipple divided by two at the chest line. Also move to the hip line and mark it there and then connect our line. Before we proceed to avoid any confusion, let's go ahead and label our points. Have the first line to be the chest line, the bust line, the waist line and the hip line to be the last line. The bust line we shall come down by one inch. And side by side at the waistline, I'll be marking half an inch on both sides and I'll connect it this way, that way, also this way and that way. I shall divide my waist circumference by 4, mark that at the waistline plus that half an inch for ease. I have to also measure my that intake and add it. At my jacket length, which is also my hip line, I shall be inputting my hip circumference divided by 4. Plus, this time round, I want the down part to be a bit loose and a bit wider. So I wouldn't be adding half an inch. I'm going to be marking 1 it. inch instead. Let me just go ahead and join all the points. At this moment, let's go ahead and determine our break point. The break point is where we want our lapel to stop. For this jacket, I want my lapel to stop at the waistline. At my waistline, I'll be stepping out by one inch. Connect that line to the hem of the jacket. I also connect it this way and that way. Take note, this particular one inch step out, you don't need to draw it all the way to your neckline. No, it's not necessary. It's going to make the whole work very complicated and you are going to have a lot of lines at the end of the day. So just draw it below there. You don't need to take it upwards that way. At the tip of that one inch, you're going to be drawing a diagonal line to meet at the end of your pattern paper. Please don't end it at the neckline. Let it go to the end of your pattern paper. 
take note this is for a reason you shall be understanding as we proceed the line must go straight and touch the end of your pattern paper this is going to make the whole work very easy and very simple for you also at the neckline i shall be stepping out by two inches and i'll be connecting a line to meet with the edge of that one inch remember this is also optional you can come out by three inch 2.5 depending on how wide you want your lapel to be but i think two inches was okay for me this is one of the pieces for the back. I'm going to be measuring the neckline of the back. I had four inches and I will be marking it on that diagonal line this way. This was the reason why you needed to draw that diagonal line to touch the end of your pattern paper. From that point, I'll be stepping out by half an inch and I'll make a straight line to join with the neckline this way. Therefore, this first line will no longer be needed. Now I shall also be slanting my tape rule this way also making sure that it's touching this point i mean this point of the pattern paper it should be diagonal this way it shouldn't be straight now mark three inches and i'm going to be joining it this is how wide i want my lapel to be you decrease or increase this on this end i'll be stepping out by one inch you can make yourself an inch or more than so this also depends on how wide you want the opening to be so i think one inch was okay for me let's go ahead and slant it to join this other side this way and with the help of my ammo curve, I'll just connect those two points also. And I think everything is set <laughs> and done now. Can you see how simple it looks? It doesn't have a lot of unwanted lines that you have to mark out. From this tip of the hem, I'll step up by two inches to connect it to join with where my dart ended. So this is to make sure that it's not pointed in straight. Let me turn it for you to look at the full overview. Then you look at how I'm going to be cutting it. This is also very cut now. You need to watch how I'm cutting it. So I don't cut some portions that are needed out. So watch carefully. This is the best, the simplest, and the easiest method in drafting a blazer. There is no any other one. I've come under a lot of experiences by practice. I've done a lot of research. And in fact, this is the best. And you know, I'm here to always dish out the best dish for you guys. And when it comes to freehand cutting, I think my next video will be on freehand cutting. The freehand cutting, oh my god, you can't imagine how simple it is. Like, in less than 5 minutes, you'll be done with everything. I just realized I wanted to make this a two pieces. So I find the midpoint of the shoulder line and I connected it to the dart. This is how simple it is, okay? Always know that this is optional. If you want to make it a two pieces, then do what I just did. But if you don't want to have any joining, you don't want to make it two pieces, then you can leave it like that. For those of my subscribers who don't like a lot of pattern drafting, you just love the freehand way of working around with garment, don't worry, I will upload a video soon for you. You don't just need pattern drafting to make a blazer. It will come out very nice in less than five minutes. Look guys, I've come under a lot of experience, a lot of practice, a lot of research to come out with this formula myself. You can't just wait for this video, but I want to also know how many of you are ready because I don't know the number of you who like the freehand cutting. So let me just know in the comment section if you love the freehand method so that I could just drop a video on that. On I know and I know because I'm part of you guys that we the pattern lovers after watching this video we are going to love that free method of drafting the blazer rather than even this pattern it doesn't consume time it's simple it's easy fast and straightforward you don't need to waste a lot of time on it what i so much love about this method is that it doesn't waste fabric all right now let's draft the pattern for the sleeve first thing is i'll draw my starting point this way this particular sleeve is a bit different from what we all know not so much difference okay the only difference we'll be talking about is the cap's height so the cap's height mostly we divide our bar circumference by eight to get our cap's height and mostly a lot of people sign up for four inches but this one that's the sleeve for a blazer the cap's height must be very deep. If it is not deep, it will look like the normal sleeve. But when the cap's height is deep, it will make it have that blazer sleeve look. 
normally for me i use four inches for my cap's height but because this is a blazer i'm going to be making it six inches from the starting point i shall be marking six inches and that way and i'll just make a straight line through those two points to make everything accurate and easy i'm measuring the armhole for the back this way and also measure the armhole for the front that way so after marking all the two i'm getting 21 inches i'll be dividing the 21 inches by two and that will be giving me 10.5 inches so that's where i'm going to be marking i'll place my tape root diagonal this way wherever my 10.5 inches meet that's where i'll make my point and i'll connect a diagonal line that way on that diagonal line i'll find the midpoint to now have two sections on this side of the section i'm going to find the midpoint again come in by half an inch and on the top part i'll find the midpoint and come up by half an inch time to connect all the points so from the center we shall be connecting a curve to join with the first point second point which is the middle point third point and to the last point this way so let me use a black marker to connect to first point middle point and no point to the last point this way have you seen the difference watch the black one it didn't come downwards but the red one it came downwards so these are the difference the red one that came downwards this way is the sleeve portion for the front and the black one that went to the middle and went straight that is the sleeve portion for the back have you seen the difference so i just want to make everything simple for you guys that's why i did everything together watch how i'm going to be working my way around it you don't need to waste a lot of pattern paper to be drafting unfold and all those stuff this is a single piece but watch how i'm going to be working my way around it so this part i'm finding the length of my sleeve this way i'm not going to be adding any joining or folding allowance just the length of my sleeve and i also measure my hand circumference by two plus half an inch for ease this way and i shall be connecting a straight line to join with this other point up there and our sleeve is ready that is just all you see how simple i've made it there are other complex ways but this is the simplest you could just sign up for so let me just go ahead and cut this pattern out if you like the video go ahead and like if you don't like it to click on the dislike button this will help me know the impact of the video and what i should do next in my subsequent videos so just like or dislike for me if you're interested or you're into anything sewing anything fashion anything diy anything tailoring then i think this is the best home for you you definitely need to subscribe and be part of the family i'm going to be making your work and everything in fashion easy and simple for you you can subscribe and be part of the family okay guys kindly permit me to pause here and divide this video into two that is the sewing and the drafting part please definitely do well and check in the channel to watch the sewing aspect it is very easy and very simple you are going to be seeing other tips and tricks that i shall be revealing to you guys so just make sure after this video you go and look out for the sewing that is the part two of this video as we all know there are so many ways of killing the cat so with the sewing part i've come up with two different steps or two different formulas that you will choose from so you watch and you choose the one that will best suit you or the one that you think is more simpler or easier for you all right thank you for stopping by see you in the next